Welcome, everybody, to how to tame a Titanoboa like a boss. Oh, we missed it. Oh, we're the worst. It's the worst ever. All right, so it actually doesn't look like there's anything that's going to murder us just around here. So um, for those of you that don't know how to tame these, you need to tame them with fertilized eggs. Now, thankfully, because of the video that I recorded the other day, we've got tons of these Giga eggs. Now, that's a level 164 Titan Boa. And um, we kind of just drop the egg. This is definitely the best way to do it. I did try and mess around with a pen idea. But once they aggroed, they didn't want to eat the eggs. So this is a level 164 Titan Boa. And that was a level 273 Giga Egg. So it might take a few of these. I did instant tame a level 8 with a Giga Egg. But um, you can't actually see the taming effectiveness. I mean, you probably could, but you'll get molested if you do. That's right, go grab that egg. It must not be hungry yet. So what we're kind of doing now is we're waiting around for it to eat these fertilized eggs. And the second it gets tamed, I'm going to pick it up with the RG and I'm going to take it back to base. So we're kind of just waiting. What's going in? Oh, we did it! Sweet! So a level, a level uh, 164, we're going to name it Bob. Come here, Bob. Where are you at, home skillet? And this is definitely the best way you want to do it. I did try and tame them with a pen. I might try it again in this video really quick. But once they aggroed, they didn't want to eat the egg. So... Um, you gotta make sure they're not aggroed or it doesn't seem like they will actually eat the fertilized egg. And it does have to be a fertilized egg. It can't be a normal egg. It has to be fertilized. Um, so that was pretty easy to tame with a level 273 Giga Egg. I imagine the bigger the egg, the more taming effectiveness you get. Just like how you tame the Hesperornis with the fish. Bigger the fish, better the taming effectiveness. So think of it like that. And uh, we got some trikes in there. I don't know even know why I'm trying to put this in like a thing. Let's, I just want to take a look at it. See what the stats are and all that stuff. Uh, uh, there we go. Everything's fine. Now, you may actually be able to see the taming effect. Oh, no. It's got no gender. You have got to be shitting me. How do Snakes have genders. This is a thing. That's how they breed. I wanted to breed the snakes and get mutations. I really don't understand why Ark does this. Like, they're trying to make, like, realistic dinos and stuff like that. Snakes have genders. There are male and female snakes. I should be able to breed a snake if I want to. You know? It's like that song. You can dance if you want to. You can breed if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. And if you can't breed, then you ain't no friend of mine. But it's ridiculous. I really wanted to breed these things. So that's, that's actually really disappointing. Um, that kind of ruined my day, actually. I was really hoping these things were going to be breedable. I wanted to get some awesome mutations. I might end up having to use a mod for that because I would really like to do that. Um, yeah, so this is definitely the best way to breed them. You want to just fly up to them, make sure there's nothing evil around that's going to attack them or that they're going to attack and die. And then you're going to want to just drop fertilized eggs for them to eat. Super easy. And it, uh, it works pretty well. You don't have to knock them out or even be on the ground. Just drop the egg off the RG, let them eat it. And then you got yourselves a Titan Boa. Now we're going to go ahead and try and see if I can get the pen idea to work. But um, I don't I have a feeling it's not going to work. We're going to give it a shot though. Alright, so we have got a Titan Boa. And we're going to take it to our pen. And I want to see if this is going to work. Because you guys might have an easier time with this than trying to do it in the wild. Uh, there is a baby trike down there. Whoops. <laughs> uh, so we're going to kind of see if we can let it de-aggro. Uh, so we're just going to fly away. And then we're going to fly back. And see if we can drop an egg and have it eat it. Alright, so it looks like it is attacking that baby trike. So maybe if we just go up high, drop an egg on it, maybe it'll just be happy and eat the egg. Alright, let's see what happens. So we got the Giga Egg. I got a bunch of those, that's why I'm using them still. I already recorded the video now. Uh, of course, there's a freaking wild Perlovia out here from my breeding of the Perlovias. Stupid Perlovia. Oh, we're out of stamina. Fantastic. All right, so it does seem like the snake is still very butthurt about the buildings. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and see if we can get it to Diagro again. All right, so we're coming back. Oh, it worked. All right, so it does actually work in the pen. 
So you just got to make sure that there's nothing around for it to aggro. So you can't have any dinos around your pen. And that's what I had earlier. I had dinos that were outside of the pen. I think the snake was trying to attack those dinos outside of the pen. So two ways you could do it. You can tame them in the wild by dropping an egg from an RG. Or you can bring them to a pen, drop them in the pen. Make sure there are no tamed dinos around the pen. It's not going to work with tamed dinos because it's going to try and aggro them and your life is going to be miserable. But as long as you drop an egg, leave... And so it's not aggro to anything. It'll eat the egg and you get a tamed uh, Titan Boa. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. Pretty straightforward taming process. Super easy. If you guys did like it, don't forget to show your support and smash that like button. And if you want to see Titan Boas uh, bred in the future and you want me to use a mod to do so, let me know and I will be more than happy to do that for you guys. But as always, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, don't forget to show your support and smash that like button. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.